Hi, you're watching Family Gamer TV. I'm Mark Clapham and I'm here today to talk about the first trailer for Assassin's Creed Chronicles. It's a new series of downloadable games which will be in what's called a 2.5D style. Old style side scrolling but with 3D graphics and little bursts of uh, 3D action as you'll see once we get going. And the interesting thing about these games, we're digging a bit deeper into the Assassin's Creed canon and expanding on some characters from spin-offs and comic books and things like that and having a bit more of a diverse Assassin's Creed cast and you can see that it's Peggy 16 and we'll pretty much soon see roughly why that's the rating got this lovely sort of sepia approach here and we start in China 1526 in the first episode Assassin's Creed Chronicles China we can see our new protagonist here beautiful sort of Chinese ink wash style to give it a lovely period feel. The actual in-game graphics are a bit less stylized than that and there's a big bit of blood. And so you can see that it's quite cartoonish violence. We'll pause here on Xiao Jun. Uh, Xiao Jun, apologies if my uh, pronunciation is terrible, is a character from Assassin's Creed Embers, a video that came, a short animated film that came free with certain special editions of Assassin's Creed Revelations, the last Ezio game, and it wrapped up Ezio's story by meeting him in old age, and Xiao Jun or Yun was a character in that, uh, a, a young Chinese assassin. And she's also popped up in mentions a couple of times in the game since as being the person who introduced the rope dart to the Assassin's Order. So we're starting in the 16th century there, China very distinct setting, female protagonist, so that's a nice bit of diversity there. And let's move on to the next one, which is India 1841, the Sikh Empire at War. So I, I like these lovely little introductions, a little bit of flash of uh, Indian iconography there. Going to the 19th century, so a bit of a sort of Victorian look to this. Um, and Arbaz Mir, let's pause on Arbaz Mir. Um, he is from Assassin's Creed Brahman a graphic novel published by UB Workshop, so published by U Ubisoft themselves. And um, he is Kashmiri, and has a lot of issues with the Sikh Empire, and so that's who he's fighting here. The graphic novel was written by Cameron Stewart, Carl Kershaw, and Brandon Fletcher, who two of whom we'll be, we'll be referring to again in the next entry. But if we roll with the gameplay, here we are, Russia, 1918, the revolution. Yet again, period style, early 20th century. Um, lovely sort of Soviet realist uh, graphic touch there. This is looking a lot more like Cameron Stewart's artwork this time, which is he's a great comic book artist. And he and Kershaw worked on this Wildstorm comic series. We'll pause on Nikolai Orolev, their pop protagonist. And yeah, he's from the he's from a DC comic, basically a spin-off comic, and it's very rare for that kind of spin-off to feed back into a game series like this. But I think it's sort of testament to Ubisoft's world building with the Assassin's Creed franchise that they're managing to now loop all these things back in together. See, nice flashes of red. We're getting a bit more colour here. We're in the 20th century. Hussars, and you can see the sort of. As we go into a sort of montage of gameplay, you can see that we're kind of going back to Prince of Persia, the franchise that's really the parent. The original Prince of Persia is sort of the parent franchise of Assassin's Creed. The first Assassin's Creed, if you sort of know your background, started out originally as the Assassin would be guarding the young prince in Prince of Persia, and it sort of shifted along to a more less mythological, more history-based approach and gradually morphed into being Assassin's Creed. But there's always been sort of a connection between those two ever since and recent Prince of Persia games have built on the kind of platform and approach of Assassin's Creed so it's kind of a little loop now. And we're sort of closing the loop here, going back to an old um, sort of 16-bit platforming but with this kind of gorgeous next-gen graphics. And it's not a not dissimilar look to the Prince of Persia downloadable game, that came, downloadable remake of the original that came out a few years ago, I think in time for the movie. 
developed by Climax Studios, who are known for Warcraft ports and also a couple of minor entries in the Silent Hill series. And the first game is out on 22nd of April, Assassin's Creed China, with other instalments to follow. Thanks for watching. For more family videos, please subscribe to Family Gamer TV on YouTube.